and this is Dalia again, and I have another little story we're going to read in the Disney Junior Storybook Collection. Me and Scarlett are sitting outside. Looks like it might be raining anytime soon, but we'll see. This one's called Doc McStuffins Bronte Boo Boos. Bronte Boo Boos. page. You like Doc McStuffins? Doc McStuffins? Yay! This one's called Bronte Boo Boos. There's Bronte. He's the dinosaur. We've got the ocean on. You see the ocean? Turn it down a little bit. Pardon me, Miss Lammy, but would you care for a spot of tea? Asked Doc. A spot of tea will must be lovely, giggles Lammy. Doc hears running in the hallway. Uh-oh, sounds like Donnie's home from the arcade. I think you better go stuffed. <sighs> they have to go stuffed so Donnie don't know that they actually talk. <sighs> if he finds out they actually talk, huh? You think you'll find out they actually talk? Hey, Doc, where's Bronte's invite to the tea party? Jokes Donnie. Where's Bronte's invite to the tea party? Doc laughs. Oh, my. It must have gotten lost in the mail. Bronte is always welcome to join our tea party. Tea parties, you and Bronte can sip tea later. Mom declares, you're all sticky from the arcade. Time for a bath, young man. You can play with Bronte while I'm gone, Donnie tells Doc. Let's turn it up. Let's put it up this way. Let's see. Can you see it when I do this? When Danny leaves the room, Doc's stethoscope, stethoscope starts to glow, and the toys come to life. <gasps> the toys come to life, Sam. Bronte gallops around Doc's room. Woohoo! Giggles Doc. You sure like to stomp don't, around, don't you? Lammy politely tries to get Bronte's attention. Would you like to join our tea party? Ooh, I sure would. Bronte is so excited that he jumps up and down on the table, knocking over the teapot and cups. Hmm, maybe tea party isn't the best game for you. Why don't we go outside to play, Doc suggests. I see he's so big, he needs lots of room, don't he, Scarlet? Does he need lots of room? There's the ocean. I don't know if you can see it. It's real dark. Okay, let's see. Bronte is thrilled to play outdoors where he has enough room to run around. He runs up to Stuffy who's holding a ball. Ooh, can we play catch? Uh, can we, can we? Please play, begs Bronte. As Stuffy throws the ball, Bronte goes after it. Chili and Squeakers jump out of the way to avoid being knocked down. As the ball's thrown again, Bronte runs but doesn't watch where he's going. He sends Sir Kirby sailing into the air, steps on Ricardo race car, and makes Surfer Girl topple over. Like careful there, Dino dude, mutters Surfer Girl. Bronte feels bad. Oops, sorry. See, he's so big. Look at him. He's a big dinosaur. Surfer Girl tosses the ball and Bronte runs after it, this time romping on top of Stuffy. Sorry, Bronte says again. Now throw it. Please throw it. Come on, throw it. Stuffy tosses the ball but decides to take a break a break from playing. He's feeling a bit sore. He heads into Doc's clinic for a checkup. There he goes. Let's go see Doc now. Doc listens to, to, Snuffy's, to Stuffy's heart and lungs with her stethoscope. Where does it hurt? Well, it only hurts here and here and here. Stuffy points to his arms, his head, his tail, his tummy, his t left toe. All sweet sugar lumps, explains Hallie. You've got a whole bushel full of boo-boos. Well, when did the ouches start, asked Doc. Stuffy thinks for a moment. 
Well, it started when Surfer Girl threw the ball to Bronte, and he jumped up and landed on me. Doc has a, ha, Doc has a diagnosis. Stuffy has a severe case of Bronte boo-boos. And I have the perfect treatment, a kiss and a cuddle. Yay, look. Hallie sees that Lammies and Squeakers and Surfer Girl and Sir Kirby, Ricardo, and Star Blazer Zero have entered the clinic. Uh-oh, Doc. I think you have a heaping helpful of new patients with Bronte boo-boos. The toys all line up to get a hug and a kiss from Doc. It's just the medicine they need to feel better. Yay. To make sure the toys don't get Bronto boo-boos again, Doc has a talk with Bronte. I know you didn't mean to, but you hurt some of the toys today. Oh, Bronte can't believe his ears. Me? Oh, I'm sorry. Doc, oh, I hate being so big. But being big is great, says Doc. You just have to be extra careful when you play with smaller toys. I have to do the same thing when I play with my little brother Donnie, Doc explains. Bronte is surprised. You have to be careful too? Really? Really? People and toys come in all sizes. You're a big dinosaur. That's who you are and that's terrific. You just can't play so rough. Okay, Doc, I'll be careful and, and won't play rough anymore, I promise. Bronte promises. Bronte finds his friends and apologizes for being so rough. And Lammy gives a big cuddle. It's okay, Bronte. We still love you. Bronte has an idea. Hey, everyone. How about a ride on my back? Doc smiles. See, Bronte? Being big, bigger can be pretty cool. In a big way, agrees Bronte. Look, there he is, giving them rides. <sighs> that was cute. Did you like that story, Scarlett? It was cute, wasn't it? Well, I hope you all enjoyed it, too. And have a nice day. There will be more soon.